Hi guys, today I am making a quick black bean chili to put on top of potatoes or sweet potatoes or nachos to make uh, quesadillas, things like that. And so I don't want a lot of liquid, uh, I want a lot of flavor, and so I'm going to show you what I do. So you already saw me chopping everything. The first thing I'm going to do is, I don't cook with oil, so I have an empty pot here. I'm going to put just a little bit of water on the bottom. Turn on my stove, and I'm going to water saute these red onions. I don't use oil because oil has a lot of calories, 120 calories in a tablespoon, and I'd rather eat those calories in nuts and seeds. I can get a lot more nutrition and fiber from nuts and seeds than from a tablespoon of oil. All right, so I'm trying to keep them separate, the onions separate from everything else. I could throw it all in at once, but I'm just doing one at a time. So I have some diced red onion here. Can you see there? You don't need to see me, you just need to see the pot, right? So I'm going to saute these red onions. I'm using red onions because they're actually purple, aren't they? Um, because of that color. That color is, means that there are a lot of phytonutrients in there that are so good for us, and so I want them. Quercetin is in here. That's something that we've been hearing a lot about in the last 18 months or so, um, which is a fabulous antioxidant. All right, then I'm going to be adding bell pepper and onion. Then I will be adding black beans. I have organic black beans. So black beans are very high in minerals and B vitamins, um, very high in fiber, so they're very filling and very high in protein. Um, so black beans are a wonderful choice um, if you're looking for beans. Always buy beans organic. You have to remember anytime that you buy beans um, that they are sprayed to dry them to make it easier for harvesting. And so if they're not organic, unless you know the farmer, they have been sprayed. So make sure that you buy them organic. All right, can you hear our onions sizzling there? I'm gonna cook them until they are um, transparent so I can see Do them. I want them nice and soft. Okay, looks like our onions are just about there. I can still see a little bit of white, so I'm gonna cook them a little bit longer. If it starts to get dry on the bottom, just add a little bit more water. All right, next I'm gonna add my red bell pepper and my tomatoes. That red color means we have a lot of different phytonutrients. Tomatoes are very high in lutein. I don't know if you've heard of that, but that is uh, wonderful for the eyes of lycopene, lycopene, which is wonderful um, for many different things. Okay, our tomatoes and our red bell peppers. That red color means that we are getting completely different um, phytonutrients. Maybe not completely, because there is some red and some purple was in there. There we go. Cook that down a little bit. I want them to be soft and not crunchy in my chili. While that is going, I will add some spices. So you can add um, some taco seasoning. That would be a really quick and easy way to do it. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of chili powder. I have a teaspoon here, so three of these. Um, I did not add garlic. I don't have any garlic with me right now. What is wrong with me not having garlic? Anyway, um, so please feel free to add some garlic. I'm adding a teaspoon of garlic um, powder and a teaspoon of onion powder, but fresh garlic would be fabulous. Maybe uh, a couple of garlic cloves. I'm going to add a teaspoon of cumin. So I'm probably going to do two teaspoons of cumin. I really like cumin. I know not everyone does, but I'm going to put two teaspoons of cumin in there. Mm, the smell is amazing. Uh, 
All right, our peppers and tomatoes look nice and soft, so I'm going to add my black beans. I already, I just drained them. I did not rinse them because there's not any added salt, but if um, you could always rinse them. Just check your ingredients. Get them all out of the can. And a can of tomato sauce. Sometimes we'll even use something, uh, use tomato juice. If this was a chili that we were going to eat, you know, in a bowl, not on top of a potato, um, we would um, add tomato juice. Turn that down. I'm going to let that simmer for about 20 minutes and then it will be ready to eat. So this is perfect on top of baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, nachos, taco salad, lots of different things you could put this on. Um, it would be great um, in a Buddha bowl, put it over some rice, some rice with some kale, that would be delicious. Anyway, what I'm going to do is put this on top of a baked potato with a taco ranch dressing, which I just made that video as well. If it's not, hopefully it'll be posted soon if it's not already posted. I'm going to let that cook for about, like I said, 20 to 30 minutes and then it'll be finished. Um, can you see what I have here? So you can see it's nice and thick. Perfect for topping something. I will post a photo. You don't need to watch it cook for 25 to 30 minutes. And um, if you make this, let me know. Like and share my videos. Um, comment below and let me know what you would like for me to cook next or what you would like to learn. I'd love to hear from you. Enjoy.